Um, the same with Vito. I kind of there's a group of people who I find kind of interesting. I kind of keep tabs on, but I don't like talking about them because I know that every time I talk about them, they get like an actual erection. They get like a hard on. So there are some things I want to share with my chat, but I have to be careful with how I go about them. Like with the Vito stuff, like short and sweet. Make fun of them for being a fucking loser, and move on. Um, this guy is especially desperate for attention. And uh, I have to be like sexually aroused by attention chat. And I have to be careful how I talk about him so that he doesn't get aroused. Um, I mentioned him briefly a couple episodes ago. And I have a follow up to that mention. Um, I talked about how Brian Dunn had allegedly in a discord call been chatting up a foxy trans whammon. Uh, trying to get that girl D, you know what I'm saying? Despite being a married man with two kids, uh, the king of pole, the queen of poles, Brian Dunn, was uh, out there trying to get some bussy. And he took issue with this, and he took issue with everyone, mischar- mischaracterizing it. Because um, as he says later, he was actually trying to help that poor trans woman not commit suicide. He was there for mental health reasons. As a good person doing an honest deed and not trying to smash box or smash bussy. Sorry, not box, but bussy. Um, uh, it was nothing sexual. There was no emotional cheating. There was no sexual cheating. And he chimped out at me on Twitter or some shit. And I said, that goddamn pedophile Josh Moon fucking lying about me. I'll sue that some bitch. Just uh, going off. I ignored it because he's a faggot. And then he comes back on Zitter a couple of days later um, and starts declaring war on the internet. He says, I have nothing left to lose. And yes, I am contacting his family all day tomorrow. I generally do not care anymore. They swat me regularly, harass my job to death, harass my wife and her family. They posted my fucking newborn and Adam said it's all okay. By the way, he's talking about Discord cliques. He's a... So the the thing about Brian is that he's incredibly stupid. He um in, in more than anything, even more than he's dumb, he is desperate for attention. He had a brief popularity as the king of pole back in Gamergate and he's been chasing that fucking purple dragon for literally 10 years now at this point. Um and his his <laughs> When he had his first child, he kind of dipped from the internet and got like a job as like an electrician. I'm like, oh, wow, great. Good for him. That's really impressive. I'm genuinely happy for him. I'm glad that he managed to find something that was worth living for that wasn't trying to become King of Pole again because he will never, ever, ever, ever be tolerated by anyone because he's a gigantic faggot that nobody could ever possibly like. And he should be very lucky that he had what he had. So I thought, oh, that's very nice. He comes back. And he's as belligerent and retarded as ever. He networks in with the most like scummy fuckheads on the entire planet. He's in every Discord group. He's in like a hundred Discord groups talking to people who are routinely swatting people, routinely engaged in gay ops, routine like just like absolute fucking losers. And it's like, so he's he comes back and he's even worse than before. Because before Um, he was just trying to ride the coattails of like Ethan Ralph and shit and get involved with, um, Godwinson and PPP. And he was trying to like be visible on, on like a, an up end. And then he comes back and he's so desperate for attention. He's like associating with the biggest losers ever. Um, and even they don't want him and they record, they set him up with a tranny and then the tranny secretly records it. And, uh, he's hitting on a fucking tranny and it, they send that to his wife and shit because they're like they don't care about life ruination stuff, and he's crying about it. And it's like it's it's unbelievable that he came back even worse than before. Because I really I actually I thought he was going to be like a success story where he just like fucked off and where he got the hint, um, but he didn't. So he comes back and he says, "I'm I'm starting with Brian Holloman. And I'm just going to work my way down. Jim, Adam, all of them getting the life ruination treatment until I feel like stopping. What are they going to do that they haven't done so far?" I'm going to make it all the lies real. Fuck it. I don't care. 
He says for implied a gator, I'll drink tea with your mama for I come down there with a printout of what a sad panda is in the conversations along with emails to your dad and your work starting tomorrow morning. Brian Holloman, you deserve your life ruined and I'm going to do it to you and everybody else. What are you going to do about it? Cry? Uh, he says, fuck Jim. I'll be getting a real photo of him soon when I drive out to his driveway. I'll do whatever I want. It's not a crime to talk to your parents about what you do and how you act in your job and should be aware of your political beliefs and what you practice towards children. I'm thinking the audio of Rand wanting to rape an 11 year old child along with your many, many conversations on that show about killing minorities and being a Nazi will go a long way. What do you want to do about it, pussy? Cry? I have nothing left to lose anymore. I don't give a fuck about your optics, and I'll do whatever the fuck I want that isn't breaking the law. You all deserve this, and I'll give it to you. You want to, to lie so much about me, I'm going to make your life a living hell. And I'm strongly telling you, pedophile, that I'm going to be talking to your fucking parents tomorrow, and maybe your work with all your post leaks and all the clips of you wanting to fuck you, of what the fuck you and Rand discuss. What are you going to do? You all fucked with my life so much that you think I have something to lose. I don't. You're a sack of shit. I'm going to ruin your life and everybody else's who fucked with my real life. You deserve it. You won't do shit except cry like the pussy you are. I'm not in disc any Discord, you fat pedophile. That's a fucking lie. This guy's a fucking liar. He even says, um, sorry, I snorted. I did a fucking DSP snort, like an honest to God DSP snort. He just continues once. I'm going I'm to fly to London. I will drive to Jim's anime dungeon. I will drive to your that fucking house in your Huey Farms thread. <laughs> it's going to try to implicate the form too. Um, Jim makes fun of him saying, I'm going to dox fucking everyone, throws train sitting against the wall, shit snipers. He says, and I will have Jade's vet hospital address and phone number cancer. It'll be wild when I start complaining she killed some animals or some shit. Huh? What the fuck are you going to do? Cry? Um, uh, makes fun again, calling him edgy. He says, you're going to say that when I'm in your driveway, Jim? Oh, sorry. I fucked up. Oh, I even went back and, ah, sorry. I, I tore a key off my keyboard and then I pressed the alt button and I lost my place. Now I have to find it again. Um, it's going to be funny when I flag your payment processor too, huh? Oops, bro. Lamal, I guess. You pussies lied about me and dragged my job and family into this. Claimed I'm a pedophile. Claimed I cheat. Claimed everything you could to harm me. Promoted swatting me and my family to try and kill us. Yeah, Jim, I'm going to fuck with your real life. I literally do not care anymore. Cry about it, pussy, and hope it doesn't end with me dragging you out of that fucking wheelchair. Um... Jim makes fun of this again, apparently not taking his threat seriously, saying what King of Pole means is no, Jim did not. What I did was laugh at him, and now he wants to repo my wheelchair, Lamau. What are you going to do about it? As you can see, King of Pole, I built the perfect security system to make sure that you have no interest in my precious wheelchair. Um, I believe that he has labeled his wheelchair heterosexual, no fags, sorry, King of Pole, allowed. So this security system guarantees that this wheelchair will be safe from any tampering from King of Pole related activities. Um, that sign, it's kind of like those Japanese little strips of like paper that they nail into the heads of people in Japan for like voodoo. It's like you take the heterosexual sign and you attach it to the wheelchair and then there's like a protective Japanese voodoo charm on the char. And if King of Pole touches it, it like it stings. It, it's like purified soil. You can't touch it. Um... You guys need to touch grass, live life, and don't take the internet seriously. One week later, <laughs> you don't give a fuck about me, you stupid fucking prick, and don't pretend like you do. All you people are the same. You deserve a bull in the head, in, your, in my opinion, I'll say whatever the fuck I want now. <clears throat> and then caps it off. My name is not... My name is not important. What's important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and the human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred, and I have always wanted to die violently. Um, so, Brian is unable to accept... Um, that his associations with total scumbags and his 10 years of retard behavior are why people hate him and that the people fucking with him are the people that he's probably tried to use against other people in the past few years and discord calls and shit. So he says the only reason why people are mean to him is because he wants to stream. 
He says, fuck all of yo people. What the F is wrong with you? All you fuck Jin sociopathic people are insane. I did a show and you all ruined my life for it. You tell me you're a suicidal and want to cut your dick off and I, you not to, and I'm bad toward that. My job and wife harassed. I need to be swatted for streaming a show. Fuck all of you. You deserve to be treated like ain't have and y'all monsters. And I hope one day you all die. Fuck you all for every tabing. I hate you people. Uh, and now in this, I think he says, um, Oh, it's in the next one. He says, I'm too noddle deep into, oh, Hana sleep and fuck you all. Y'all gone to bird now. Fuck off. You don't give a fuck but me. You want content. Fuck Lou all. I'm gone to bed. Fuck you all. I'll blow your brains. Ausk. Ausk. Like, why forgive a fuck? And you trid to get my kid taken away, you fat P.O. And it continues, chat. However, now I'm uh, unable to read at all because... Oh, actually, I will read these because these are funny. I'm coming to London and the Magana skit yoy fucking throat, you sack of shit. I'm going to kill you, Adam. Uh, in response to Godwinson asking him, how's Hazel, um, which is his wife... Uh, he says, yeah, I'm definitely going to run your life, you fuck kig internet, lowercase, lower, come on, Brian, lowercase i internet. I can forgive everything else, but you should know that the internet is a proper noun. Uh, fucking but co who? Uh, response to cinemas asking, why does my family think I'm a crazy gay man on the internet? Also lowercase i. But that's how he responds. It fuck you up, arrow life, you pussy. And uh, one more time, I'm gonna fuck Jing, ruin your life at uh, God once in, you bit liar, pick, yep, fit. I'm gonna break every fucking bone in your body and I'm gonna take everything from you. So uh, this is his tantrum and then Twitter account gone. Like tears in the rain. And he comes back. On his YouTube channel, he says, Hello, everyone. This channel will be going dark. The owner of this channel is not with us anymore. Any and all videos will be left up as is, but no more uploads will be made. On behalf of his leaving, I have taken the liberty of archiving everything he had left behind on this channel in his private content. He is a father, a husband, and was a friend of mine. And so the internet waited ponderousing, ponderously wondering if it was true. And if the great entertainer, Brian Dunn, the king of pole from the Gamergate days had indeed taken his own life. Many people cried, some laughed, but we all knew that the world was changed that day. And then uh, someone noticed that his account on Discord, which was just renamed to deleted account, was pr playing Rocket League. So we kind of just assumed that he was faking it and was just playing Rocket League um, and then drinking and crying because his wife left him because he was trying to fuck a tranny. Uh, so after that, he comes back swinging. Uh, he's privated this video already. It is a 25-minute long diatribe. It's kind of weird. Brian looks like Vito the pedo and then he sounds like the biggest retard ever I'll play like a literally one second of this and then I'll hello sing. I'm a back from the dead so I don't like he is just viscerally appalling in every way listening to Brian Dunn and watching his video is an assault on all of my senses I can smell him by looking at the video too and it gets caught in the back of your throat so literally every every physiological response is triggered. There's a flight or fight reaction to get the fuck away from this lunatic. Um, this annoying piece of shit uh, who cheated on his allegedly cheated on his wife with a, with a tranny. Um, and then he hit it 
Now, I'll sum up his video. Uh, step one, he said that he was not actually trying to cheat on his wife with a tranny. He was actually trying to save a poor, innocent trans folks from suicide, sewer, sewer slide, as they... Sewer slide is my favorite one. From sewer sliding. Um, however, it was a malicious setup by the evil... And, like, there's a, a sentence in this that doesn't make sense to any person. He's explaining... Like, the, the sentence is, like, the plate spicks conspired with the... the um, with some other like i don't know he just described like three different discord fractions together in one sentence and they all had nonsense name like the plate spicks and it's just like if you're a normal person listening to this you're you're gonna blow your fucking brains out because you can't survive the traumatic event to your your brain and move on from that it's not uh, nonsense i um i couldn't make it and uh a user had emailed me and said my dear friend Joshua Moon, I do believe you have banned my Kiwi Farms account in error, and I desire to be unbanned. Uh, is there anything that I can do to be unbanned? I said, sir, under normal circumstances, I would not even entertain such a notion, as my bans are quite permanent indeed, and there's no way around them. However... You have come to me at a time of need, and I will bestow upon you a very rare unbanning. If you do for me one favor, I need you to watch a 25 minute long video of Brian Dunn sitting in a car dressed as a cowboy screaming at the top of his lungs. And I need a five paragraph expository essay explaining what the fuck is going on in it because I cannot watch it myself. If you do this for me, I will unban your account. And he said, please, sir, anything but that. Literally anything. I'll give you my car. How about my wife, my house, sir? Anything but that. I said, no, I have no need for those frivolities. I need a synopsis of this Brian Dunn video. And he said, okay, I'll do it. I won't like it, but I'll do it. And so he watched through this video for me and re replied with uh, some bullet points about what he said. He said it did not require a five paragraph expository essay. The information was quite uh, simple, but stretched out through dribbling nonsense. So to sum it up, step A, um, he did not uh, try to cheat on his wife with a tranny. Indeed, he was trying to save thine tranny's precious soul from slewer slide. Um, and then his cope about all the fucking crazy nonsense he had posted was that it was all a troll. It was all a troll. He was just fucking with it, uh, with everybody. He was just being a silly boy. His life is completely fine. His wife is still there. His children get to see him every day. His job doesn't care that he's a deranged psychotic on the internet threatening to kill people. Uh, everything is peachy fucking keen. And a logs status equaled owned. And then the third point that he made was that he is the new greatest entertainer in the sector. He is like Ethan Ralph and Juju the Cow and Nick Ricada and Godwinson and PPP all rolled into one. He's the greatest that everyone's ever known. And everyone waits on him with bated breath. That is the information that I've obtained uh, from my confidant and uh he has indeed earned his unbanning for his endeavors i will never know if the information that he's given me is correct because i don't think that anybody else has watched this video <laughs> so we'll just have to assume for the sake of argument if it ends up in a court document i have literally no concept of if anything i'm saying is true i'm going off information from a hostile party this is what they told me So, that is your rare, extraordinarily rare, Brian Dunn update. He uh, said that he had lost his wife and access to his children, and then he threatened to kill himself and uh, Jim Medeker and Godwinson um, and basically everybody else, and he ranted and raved and got really drunk and then threatened to delete his channel and then faked the suicide. And then said, actually, just kidding. I'm the best entertainer that has ever gifted God's green earth. Um, can't wait to see what he does next. I hope I don't have to talk about him for six more months. Awesome. Great. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.